Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today, we have x cubed plus y cubed equal to x plus y squared and we need to find our integer pairs of solution x and y. How can you do this? On the first side this equation is real hard because we have third power, it's not like a square, it's not like an easy, easy case, but we have third power, so we need to work with this third power. First of all we need to start with this left hand side, we have x cubed plus y cubed. What are we going to do with this? Of course we need to use a formula, we have the sum of cubes, so let's write our formula. Firstly we have x, x plus y, and in the second parentheses x square plus y square and minus xy. And let's bring this element on the, on the right hand side, on the left hand side. We have minus x plus y square equal to zero. So I hope you understand this step applying a formula and right here bringing these on the left hand side. But if you look closely to this we have that x plus y and x plus y right here so we can easily factor it, factor out it x plus y. So let's do this, we have x, x plus y and in the second parentheses we have x square plus y square minus xy and of course minus x minus y if we open our parentheses equal to zero. So right here we just factor in x plus y. Okay, what we're going to do next? I see a really interesting moment because we have right here with our x, we can easily factor out right here our x. And take a look closely, we have x plus y. I write right here our first element, x square. Right here I just wanted to group this x, y and this x. And if I factor out it, I have minus x. Right here we have y plus 1 because we factor in minus. And of course plus y square in the end this element y square and minus y equal to zero. One really interesting moment I just factor in right here and change in order a little bit. Okay we have a product equal to zero. So we all know that in this is a classic maths case product equal to zero then this element x plus y equal to zero from here x equal to minus y. Okay, let's start with it, x equal to minus y. And right here we have this element equal to zero. So we have x square minus x times y plus one plus y square minus y equal to zero. And what we're going to do with this, because this is a hard expression, we have y, we have x, we have square on both variables. But if we look closely to this, this is a quadratic equation when the main variable is x, is x and right here we have our x square, we have x and we have some constant. So if we write it in, in a, our ABC we have a equal to 1 because right here we don't have any, any numbers, b equal to with our x we have minus y plus 1 so minus y plus 1 and with our c we have y square minus y so c equal to y square minus y. Okay, I hope you understand this step. This is a quadratic equation. But right here we don't like easily find our answer because both elements are variables, so we can like find our constant constant answer. So we need to work with, with inequalities right here. We need to find where is our y. So firstly we need to write an equation where b square minus 4ac is greater or equal to zero. This is our discriminant, so let's solve this inequality and then we'll find in which measures are our y. So what do we have as a result? We have b square minus 4ac, let's raise this, I raise this real quick right here, we have y square plus 2y, we have plus 1 minus 4y square plus 4y greater or equal to 0. Let's regroup this a little bit, we have minus 3y square plus 6y and plus 1 is greater or equal to 0. And if we go in further we need to multiply it by minus 1 because we have right here our minus, we don't need it. And our final inequality 3y square minus 6y minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 because we change our inequality sign. Okay, this is our quadratic equation but we go to inequalities because we need to find where is our i, measures of our y. Okay, how can we solve this interesting inequality? Firstly, we need to find our i, y using like a classic method. We have b square, we can not b square minus b, we have 6 plus minus b square minus 4ac, 36 plus 12. 
we have 48 over over 2a over 6 so this is our y equal to let's write this 48 as 16 times 3 or 4 square root of 3 so we have 6 plus minus 4 square root of 3 over 6 and if, if we simplify this a little bit we have 3 plus minus 2 square root of 3 over 3 just dividing elements by 2 okay i hope you you understand this step we just solving our quadratic equation but in inequality form so we have two points right here with the minus sign so i write it on this line we have right here with the plus sign on the right hand side we have 3 plus 2 square root of 3 over 3 this is our right hand side and on the left hand side we have 3 minus 2 square root of 3 over over 3 so this is two points we have inequality sign so this is our parabola and our negative sign will be between these points so our y is between these two points but what we are talking about integers so we need to find our integers values of y so this element we have square root of 3 we have 2 2 times square root of 3 3 minus 2 square root of 3 it looks like approximately equal to minus 0 0.15 so this this number and this number is approximately equal to 2.15 like square root of 3 1.7 it looks like that but if you're talking about integer number so we have not like many variants right here so our y is equal to 0 1 and 2 because further 2 we have 3 but this point ends with 2.15 so we find our y the double y equal to 0 1 and 2 so from this inequality we find our 0, 1 and 2. Okay, let's find our pairs. We have our y, so we can easily find our pairs. If y equal to 0, we have that our x, let's go, let's go, let's go right here. So it doesn't matter, like, or right here, let's go. If y equal to 0, this 0, 0, 0. So we have our quadratic equation x square minus x equal to 0. From here, we can easily solve it. We have that our x times x minus 1, we just factor in this, this x equal to 0. So product equal to 0, then, then this element equal to 0. So x first equal to 0 and x second equal to 1. So right here we find our two pairs of solution. So the first pair x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Second pair x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. One. 1 and 0. So first two pairs we find. Okay, let's go next. We have y equal to 1. If y equal to 1, what equation we will have? Plug in this one right here instead of this y. We have the next. We have x square minus 2x equal to 0. And completely the same as in the first case. We have x and we have x minus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 0 or x equal to 2. So we have two pairs with this one. 0, 1 and 2 and 1. Okay, let's write it. We have 0, 1 and 2 and 1. Okay, four pairs we have. And the last case, y equal to 2. If y equal to 2, we have the next. We have an equation. We have x square minus 3x and plus 2 equal to 0. Quadratic equation, we can easily write it in another form. Using Vieta's theorem, we have x minus 1 and times x minus 2 equal to 0. Roots 1 and 2, so we can write our pairs 1 and 2 and 2 and 2. Okay, we find our six pairs. But this pairs goes right here with this parentheses. But we have this parenthesis as well. We need to solve it. We have that our x equal to minus y. So if x is positive, y is the same but negative. So if it goes right here, for example, take a look closely. If x is equal to, for example, 1, we have that our y equal to minus 1. If x equal to 2, y equal to minus 2. So as you can see, it doesn't matter with the number, so 10, 100, so x so y is uh, opposite to our x so we can easily write it in our formula 
that our n, our x equal to, for example, n, that then our y equal to minus n. And it goes in a reverse way. So if x is negative, then y is positive. So minus n and n. So I write it in that way because we don't know this x and y. We have that our x plus y equal to zero. We don't know any, any constant right here. This is not like a quadratic equation. So we need to write it in that way. And let's go write our final answer. So our answer. Let's start with, with good answers, with the answers with constant. We have our answers. We have 0, 0, first pair. We have 0, 1, second pair. We have 1 and 0. We have 1 and 2. This is our four pairs. We have two more pairs, 1, 2 and 2, 2. So we have 2, 1 and 2, 2. And of course, our pairs, n and minus n, we don't know the value of this n and minus n and n. This is our, this is our answer. Okay, this is my approach to this problem. What do you think about this? Write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. It will be really nice to read it. What do you think about this solution? Maybe you find another method how to solve it. It will be really nice to read about it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support, thank you for your follow your likes, for your comments, it helps me a lot and it's not hard to you, but it's really important for me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.